Hey, I know this is really out of the blue, and we both don't like it when someone just interrupts our day, but I'm having kind of a shitty day, and I don't know. You just seemed like the most comfy person to turn to, so I came to see you. God. Now that I'm here, and this word garbage is coming out of my mouth, I'm starting to realize this was really stupid. No, it is. Could you maybe pretend I never said any of that and I'll just go home? I'm fine. I was just thinking like a weirdo, but... Pretty much me all the time, right? I guess I'm just acting a bit more weird than normal right now. Are you really sure you don't mind? I know I'm in a mood, but it's really not that important, so if you're busy or something, I won't mind. I mean, I should have texted you or something before coming here straight away anyway, so that's my bad. Okay, okay. I'll come in. Hmm? Oh, I'm fine. I don't need a drink or anything. Thanks, though. <sighs> Honestly? I don't know why I'm so worked up. I mean, I could guess, but... I haven't completely grasped everything yet. Usually, I can handle myself and settle my feelings alone hidden in my room, but... Apparently not today. Right. I should actually tell you what happened. So, weeks ago I told you I was going to be able to meet up with my other best friend, right? Well, it did happen, but I got a little surprise. She brought along some of her other friends without telling me, and you know how I get with surprises and with strangers. I don't handle either of them too well. But... I was gonna roll with it. Figured that they couldn't be too bad if my friend was hanging with them. Things were... okay. I was kinda left out, but I didn't mind too much. That's how things almost always happen for me in group situations, because I'm pretty damn boring. I don't think I act like anyone my age. Except maybe you. Not that you're boring or anything. I... I just meant we have common interests and we tend to not be, um... Uh, um... What's the fucking word? Um... Extroverted. God. What is with my brain today? I can't even remember words anymore. Go ahead. Laugh. I am pretty damn pitiful right now, anyway. I can't just stop being negative. That's a major component of my personality. You know this. <sighs> well, since I like you, I'll try and tone it down a bit. That work for you? Okay. As I was saying, I was sort of just lingering around everyone else. Mostly just looking at my phone to pretend I had something to do, instead of just looking around aimlessly. I guess one of these girls decided that the best way to make friends is to low-key interrogate me about an assortment of things. Mostly just generic stuff like a favorite song or movie or something. Then I have to sit there looking like a bitch because I genuinely do not have any favorites besides, like, I don't know, a favorite color and a favorite food. 
Then they saw the lock screen on my phone, and that just made everything worse. <sighs> they thought you were my boyfriend. So then I had to shut that down. But I guess they thought I was flustered and started saying shit like, Oh, she has a crush. That's so adorable. Then it was questions like, What do you like about him? Or, Ooh, tell us your type and we can see if he fits it. And I know how absurd it sounds, but it was too much. I mean, I get a little anxious out in public already, but then there's these strangers I have to interact with all of a sudden. I can't talk with my friend because these women have formed some sort of blockade around my friend. Then they interrogate me about garbage, and the icing on the cake is that they just start making assumptions about me, and the dumbest fucking thing is they were right! <gasps> what? Oh, uh, um, <laughs> I, I meant that they were right about, uh... Um, shit. You're not going to buy it if I say something like, I meant they were right about me having a favorite movie, are you? I thought so. <sighs> well, pile this right onto the disaster that is today. Is this a nightmare? This feels distinctly like a nightmare I've had before. Of course I'm trying to change the topic. You heard the words that came out of my mouth, right? If I don't talk about literally anything else right now, I'm going to bash my head on a rock outside until it kills me, just so I don't have to exist in a world where I spilled my guts like an idiot. God, yes, I have a crush on you. Yes, I do. There, are you happy? Now can we please move past this and go back to the time before I ruined our friendship? So, about five minutes ago, just to be safe. Of course this would ruin our friendship. I mean, we're friends. Best buddies! Best buddies don't smooch or anything like that. Yeah, I know. I've told you before that I've never fell in love, or even had a crush. I mean, I'm not even completely sure about the feelings I have. But I do know I have a very special bond with you. You're special. But I would much rather be best friends forever than lose you over something silly like me falling for you. Yes, it's silly. I mean, look at me. I'm not exactly the gal men go for. I went out today to meet my best friend, dressed in jeans and a graphic tee I bought in the men's section because t-shirts for women have weird fits. And once I get home, I will transform into a trash goblin that wears mismatched clothing all the time in the name of comfort. Not to mention the fact I hate parties and drinking and instead sit in my house playing video games and putting together Legos like I'm an actual child. Have I made enough embarrassing points yet over how undesirable I am? <laughs> Your brain must have got scrambled because that display was far from cute. Wait, cute? Uh, don't throw around the C word all willy-nilly. That's dangerous. Dangerous because... It makes it hard for me to ball up my feelings and strangle them until they die. Why shouldn't I do that? You're messing with me, right? This... This has to be a joke! You like me too? How? You see me unfiltered all the time. How did you fall in love with... This... Okay, when you're unfiltered, you're just funny, and you tell dirty jokes. I'm a completely different person when I'm unfiltered. I think I'm the opposite of how I am publicly. Regardless, you're sure you like me? Like, want to date me like me? Whoa. Uh, sorry, I just... 
never, ever, ever, ever thought you would like me back. It's crazy. Wait, why didn't you tell me you liked me? Yeah, true. Considering my previous stance on romance, I don't blame you for not confessing. So, are we going to be a thing, or... I mean, I would want to, if you wanted to. As long as you don't mind me having absolutely no clue how to be a girlfriend. <laughs> we'll be in the same boat as we were before, just now we smooch. If I can figure out how to do that right. Look, I don't think I could fuck it up too bad, but you never know. Huh? What, what was that for? That was for practice. Oh, wow. You're pulling out the smooth lines, huh? <laughs> well... I'm not opposed to practice, if you want to help me train. Give me a break, silly. I'm trying to indulge the flirting. Well, if you think I'm succeeding, that's all that matters. <laughs>